Hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another session of BW Farhana Tidbits, where I share some of my knowledge and experience. My name is Devanshu Mukherjee, and today we are going to discuss snapshot support in ADSOs. Snapshot support is a new functionality which was not there in the previous DSOs of the past, but it is now there in the ADSOs in BW for HANA. And today we will explore why it is used, in what scenarios you are going to use the functionality and how it works. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right. So let's first look at the positioning of advanced DSO. So in terms of the BW for HANA new info providers, as you can see, it has replaced many info providers of the past. So for example, InfoCube has been replaced by Datamart Advanced DSO. DSO Classic has been replaced by Standard ADSO. Semantically Partitioned Object SPO, in short, has been replaced by semantic groups consisting of ADSOs. And of course, the PSA functionality is no longer there. It has been replaced by the inbound table of the Advanced DSOs. So this is the current positioning of the ADSOs. Then let's look at the different LSA++ layers and where do these different types of ADSOs reside. So as you can see, LSA++ has three layers, open ODS layer, also called staging layer. Uh, and then the second one is the uh, integrated data warehousing layer, which is being called EDW layer here. And finally, the virtual layer. So ADSOs, they reside in the first two layers, staging layer and the integrated data warehousing layer. In the first layer, you can have the staging ADSO type is staging ADSO and in the second EDW layer you can have both types either standard ADSO or your data mart ADSO. Alright, so now let's look into the main topic for today which is the snapshot support which is one of the properties of the standard ADSO. So what is the usage and when do we use it? So whenever you have a scenario where your data source cannot supply delta records that means it is always a full update data source and the records are deleted from the source so there is a scenario or there is a possibility that records might be deleted from the source and you want the bw for hana to identify those deleted records and then store it or delete it accordingly in the adso as well so that is where you will use the snapshot support functionality and then we will see without the snapshot support, how it behaves and with snapshot support, how it behaves. One important thing to note, change log is mandatory for snapshot support to work because change log and active data table both um, are required for the snapshot support to work. So without the change log, you cannot do the snapshot support. All right. So let's look at a scenario and we'll go step by step. So scenario is we have two material, material 111 and 222 both belong to same plant p123 111 has 100 quantity and 222 has 150 quantity this is the initial first record so when you load the data in the adso in the active table it will sit with record mode n so as you can see two records 111 222 with 100 and 150 kilos and record mode is n the change log will also have two records now in change log we will have some request uh, TSN details like request TSN number, data packet ID and uh, record number. And then we also have the same record mode N and material 111 sitting with 100, 222 sitting with 150. So this is the initial load and this is the uh, screenshot showing how it will be stored in active data and change log. Step two, now the quantity changes from 100 to 200 for material 111 and from initially it was 150 and now it is 250 for 222. So when you change the material and load again, then the change log and the active table will look like this. In the active table, the records will be overwritten because active table has the functionality of overwrite. So your 100 will be replaced by 200, 150 will be overwritten by 250. But in the change log, you can see that there will be two negative records with record mode X, which signifies before image so we have minus 100 to nullify the plus 100 and minus 150 to nullify the plus 150 and then we have two new records with blank record mode which signifies mm -hmm. after image we'll have 200 and 250 so this is how it will look like when the quantity is changed from the source and you load it now step number three 
is the scenario where material 222 is deleted from the source and the full load is performed when that will happen you can have two scenarios of course one snapshot support is checked and the second snapshot support is not checked when the snapshot support is not checked definitely you will not have <coughs> uh, the deletion taken care of let's see how so as you can see when you activate the data when you load the data with only 111 and 222 is deleted not a part of the load that if the snapshot support is not checked then the data record for 222 will not be removed or deleted from the active table so whatever is the new value or updated value for 111 okay in this case it has not changed but in case it changes then the 111 quantity will be overwritten but 222 will still stay as a part of active data table it will still show up in the reports which is going to be wrong and which will not match with your source data so in order for bw for hana to identify that there is a deletion okay in the full update okay this is only relevant for full updates guys okay please remember not for delta so if the data source is not capable of delta it is only uh, supplying full then this comes into picture so in that scenario if you want the bw for hana to support and identify the deleted records then you will go for the snapshot support checkbox and when you check the snapshot support checkbox and load the data now you will see that in the active data table the 222 material is completely removed or deleted and in the change log there will be a negative entry minus 250 with a record mode r no new entry with the blank because there is no update it is actually deleted and when it is deleted it will sit with a reverse image which is r and a negative 250 so that's the functionality of snapshot support so just let me reiterate when it is used when your data source is not capable of delta it is only supplying full and you want to identify deleted records that's when the snapshot support will come into picture so before we end some key points or salient features of advanced dso to keep in mind they support both info object and field based modeling it supports high frequency loads because now the request management is request tsn which is a new request management protocol and framework it can have up to a 120 key fields previously it was 16 key fields but now it can have 120 key fields and total fields it can have 745 so they are modeled in eclipse now no more in the backend sap gui they are used for persistence that means the real actual data is uh, stored there partitioning and indexing are both valid and still existing for adsos semantic groups which has replaced spo they exist uh, adsos they support inventory non cumulative key figures they also support planning and they support additional write interface as well all right guys so thank you very much for listening in i hope this gave you a little bit of an idea about the snapshot support and now you can use it easily and more efficiently in your project thank you and i'll see you in the next one